Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. This week on Dateline Schools, we've been visiting Hollandwoods Middle School and learning about a new grant program that the Port Huron Area School District has been awarded by the state of Michigan. It's being implemented at both Central and Hollandwoods Middle Schools. And tell us all about it. The special guest is Mike Palmer, the principal at Central Middle School, as well as Heidi Bartle, the principal here at Holland Woods. And Heidi, with any kind of grant program, obviously there's a lot of training involved for staff as they begin to implement this. So what's in store for your staff here? Well, we know with research that um, training cannot be a one-stop thing. It has to be ongoing. And the nice thing that we've had experience with, because Mike has implemented READ 180 for a while, is that we've built a relationship with Scholastic. And Tiffany Gonzalez has come out. Matter of fact, she was in our building yesterday, and she's continuing to come out. We've already have her plan to come out next week. She continues to work in the building. There's a two-day training for READ 180. There's a one-day training for Systems 44. And they do... Um, intensive training with the teachers that will be implementing this and then she continues to come out and work with the teachers in the classrooms and on their prep hours to make sure that it's being implemented with fidelity. Sounds like there will be a lot of work for teachers but a lot of benefit too. Tremendous benefits. Mike, so knowing that, how are you going to know this program is successful? How are you going to measure this? Well, I think the bottom line when I see it is, is when I, you know, fortunately we've had it for a few years so I've got to see the effect on, on sixth graders. It's just that uh, the high five that you get from a kid. Um, because the Read 180 has built in certain progress checks throughout the year. So the kids will know where they started at, where they are at at any given time. It'll tell them. And then it's just awesome because they can see the progress that they made. They know their numbers. They know where they've gained. And a lot of times it's me giving them high fives in the hallway. Um, so the bottom line is is it's a it gives you data checks all throughout the year so that you could constantly see how the students are doing and the students can see it and they can share with their parents. Um, nice thing is is we're able to show a correlation directly between the uh, SRI uh, which is the Scholastic Reading Inventory how it's done in the READ 180 program and the kids that make gains in our, our NWA uh, measure of academic performance test. Um, so we've seen the improvement there we know that it correlates with that and we know that it correlates with MEEP. So there's a lot of data checkpoints but the bottom line is is kids know that they're going to be successful. How can parents in the community learn more about this whole grant project? Oh, a few ways. Um, Heidi actually put together, she has an, an email, group email program that she sends out to keep her parents aware. Um, I, have the, I have a similar thing. We also have a, a Facebook page, which is really Central Middle School of, of PH, uh, which is open to the public to see. Great. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Reset.